Hello everybody. Uh, so yeah, welcome back from the four day holiday. I know I enjoyed it. So uh, right off the bat, last week uh, I was playing around with a different kind of 1.5 that I gotten out of a video that Nir and I had done. And I was conjecturing that uh, it was in fact a form of a linear isolation as opposed to a standard 1.5, which I thought was a form of linear extension. I'm still pretty sure that uh, a standard 1.5 is a version of a linear extension, but I'm less sure that uh, this now constitutes a, uh, a linear isolation. And here's why. Um, I tried splitting these moves up, and especially like just trying to do this as a, uh, a linear kind of move uh, didn't actually help me understand it all that much more. The, uh, the arm path that Mirna is doing in the video is actually an arc. So when I tried doing both of these moves as arcs, uh, what I wound up finding was that this pendulum that had so befuddled me actually wasn't so terribly different from the 1.5s I was used to. If you'll notice, I'm only doing half of an arc here, right? Whereas if I go and do the entire arc, I'm right back to doing a standard 1.5. Interesting. Whereas if I try going the other way, let's say do a half of a one, something different emerges, or a whole one. So what makes the difference between all these moves? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still working on figuring that out, but in the meantime, they have led me to some kind of cool places of, uh, you know, realizing that as you're moving your hand around in an arc, you know, you're tracing around a larger circle, but there's also a way to do it where you're tracing a smaller circle. So, I don't know how much utility it actually has, but it's kind of the pendulum equivalent of an isolation. Uh, some other fun places where this has led me is uh, the idea of actually doing flowers like this. And uh, I can't do it with both hands just yet, that's still on the to-do list. But this is the result that I'm getting so far, of doing a normal spin on the bottom and an anti-spin up top. I'm going to keep working on that and see if there's anything presentable I can come up with out of it. Um, I've been trying at first to do it in butterfly. with mixed success. I don't really think it looks like that much, but we'll see what happens when I try doing it, uh, try doing it in, uh, in wall plane. Anyway, uh, rather side plane. Beyond that, other stuff I have been working on this week. Um, based upon playing around with uh, buzzsaw flowers last week, uh, it's long been a trick in my repertoire to do a split time butterfly kind of transition with my uh, split time same direction point movement. And many of you can probably tell I'm totally cheating on this in that I'm currently keeping one hand on the outside and one hand on the inside. Well, I've been having enough luck lately with doing my both soft flowers and, of course, the anti-spin variants. But I decided to try and do it in the more inverted plane, which winds up looking, whoops, more like this. Yay! And uh, with more practice, that winds up being cleaner. Beyond that, um, one other thing I just started playing with on a uh, on whim the other day was um, so for a while now I've been playing around with the concept of having both hands doing an anti-spin uh, triangle flowers in this kind of arrangement, but I hadn't yet tried doing the same kind of thing with them um, in a butterfly pattern. I'm trying to remember who it was who. I commented that I always look for the butterflies and everything, but uh, unfortunately, not there yet. Once again, on the to-do list. 
Um, the really fucking hard one was trying to find a way to do it the other way because uh, for some reason my arms don't want to synchronize up when I come back. In fact, I'm still doing it right now. And the only thing that I found really helped that was uh, imagining the poi heads tracing each other in the process. Even still, the top hand's a little bit sluggish to come back. Wish I knew why. Um, beyond that, been continuing with uh, training hybrids. And last week I actually totally uh, misquoted the advice that I had been given from Ellie and John in terms of how to approach uh, doing that 45 degree angle jazz. Um, for some reason I thought that he'd said that I should place my feet at 45 degree angles and switch them. In fact, he was saying that uh, I should try doing it um, first and foremost in a side plane and then tilt my body at a 45 degree angle to do the hybrid. And the same thing when I have it up here in wall plane, that I should tilt my body slightly over to make room for the isolating hand, which I think works out pretty well. And I'm still practicing this one. I've started working on this one now too. Although the reverse is really sloppy. Oh well. Rome wasn't built in a day. So, yeah, I think that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, I will be back next week probably with another annoying pendulum pattern. Thanks a lot.